What's up, everybody? Big Eyes Triple Six here, the golf gamer. So check it out, man. I was gonna make this video yesterday when I was like really, really enraged. I'm still enraged about this, but um, I just finished watching a Fallout TV show, and it was, eh, it was, it had some good, good points, but overall, it was okay. Um, episode one, episode eight were the best ones to me. Um, it was the characters was. The Ghoul, Lucy, and Max Smith. Now, Lucy is my favorite on here. Um, if you like Fallout New Vegas, they got a bunch of bunch of Easter eggs for Fallout New Vegas, a little bit of Fallout 4, and original Fallout and stuff. But it's an okay, okay show. It's not like mind-blowing and stuff. It's an okay show. But anyways, I was on Twitter, and I checked out one of the people I follow, Hard Eight Times, um, he was talking about his new TV, the Samsung S um, 95D, which he paid like five grand to 77 inch. And I was just like, man, <laughs> that's a lot for a TV because I paid um, 20, close to 2100 to my for my TV. And that TV has bells and whistles. But I sort of scrolled down a little bit and saw a video. This... It's why I like to gatekeep people. The reason why I hate these young generation gamers just want to change things for their perspective. Want to have everything on easy mode just to fit in. Games Radar made a video about Helldivers 2 being the best RPG of 2024. I'm going to show you the video. I wish I had my my first PC fixed because I would have showed you a whole lot more professionally. But this is what I could do right now. Sorry, I'm going to show you guys. If I get the camera all straightened out. Eh. Click. Here. Just like the movie Starship Troopers, Helldivers 2 is a brilliant meta-textual satire on overt patriotism, colonialism, and political propaganda. Like Starship Troopers, Helldivers 2 manipulates its format in clever ways to point out the ludicrous nature of its own fiction. Visit the game's Superstore section, for example, and the armored suits and helmets are all displayed with enthusiastic customer reviews, just like items on Amazon. What Helldivers 2 does is invite players to take part as performers. The most fun I've had in the game has been with players who have quite literally role-played their way through the missions, spouting their own dumb patriotic dialogue. In this game, we're not inhabiting the characters. The story is you and your squad mates. Nothing is real. We're not heroic space marines. We're actors portraying heroic space marines in a ridiculous B-movie. I think games should ask questions about how we as players relate to the characters and the worlds being depicted. I think role playing should mean something more than simply a game type where you take a character class, level up, and tick off branches on a skill tree. And in this respect, I think Helldivers 2 is the best RPG of 2024. What do you think? Just like the movie Star... This is why I support gatekeeping. That crap right there is the reason why they like to change stuff. Even though it's been that type of third person shooter for freaking decades. That is why I hate these young generation gamers just want to change stuff for their liking, even though that stuff's been out for freaking years. Third person shooters been going on for freaking years, years. Stars. And on top of that, I was arguing with a person of some type of streamer call Kai Sintek or whatever. He's playing he's playing Elder Ring. Okay. He he finally it took like him twenty hours and over two hundred and fifty deaths to actually kill the second boss and stuff. And a guy's all like, 
uh, that I was talking to is like, man, this game should have an easy mode and should be catered to everybody. And I'm just like, you're the freaking problem of games nowadays. Sometimes people don't want to play on easy mode. Sometimes people like myself like to have a challenge. Hence why I play those type of games. The director of Elder Ring, I forgot his name off, off the top of my head. He makes the game like that for somebody to have a challenge. Even though these game journalists have literally asked for easy mode on every single Dark Souls game that person's made. Because it's too hard for them. It's not for you. Never was for you. And these people do not get it because they want to be into everything. That's why this stuff needs to be gatekeeped. Needs to be. Changing changing to different words just to fit the, their agenda. And it's stupid. And yet, we're the ones that freaking are the crazy ones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why I, I wish, I wish the game industry would just freaking crash. People couldn't play these games anymore. <laughs> like, like for real. I, I am Thanos Snap. I say that crap all the time. Thanos Snap, dude. I do it my freaking self. Man. And it, it, it sucks. Because back in the day, I know I'm, I know I'm, I'm going everywhere with this freaking video. Back in the day, dude, playing Lion King, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Ninja Gaiden, Battle Toads, those games took skill, took skill, and now. I hear the same excuse. It's got an easy. I'm too old. It's got an easy mode. I just need to push a button and be like, "Yay, I win!" These developers sometimes make it so easy, easy for these for these people that the AI card don't do anything, anything. And I'm just like, "What happened?" People want their handheld go to that that direction with the arrow. Or have a whole like whole list to tell you what to freaking do. Make sure you push X on this this button right this character right here before you can dodge. Make sure you push freaking triangle on this freaking cutscene right here to, to freaking play some more. I'm like, dude, what happened to the skills? What happened? Casuals. These filthy freaking casuals. And it's ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous. Because they don't want to have the skill anymore. I understand you have a freaking rough day at work. You want to play a game. I understand that though. But not every single game needs to be catered to everybody. I don't play Sudoku. I don't play Sudoku. I don't play Starcraft. I don't play WoW. I don't play Civilization. Or Age of Empire, I don't play none of those. But am I gonna get mad that they don't care to me? No. That's for certain people. But these other frauds, <laughs> best way to put them, frauds and game journalists, just wanna be in 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 the freaking game, wanna join join that game, but don't do what don't wanna do the work. Sony has Try to do a patent. I don't know if it's going to actually happen or not. Have a literally AI to help you play the game. No joke. Literally, Sony is working on a patent. Patent it. What do you want to call it? I'm just annoyed right now. That the AI will help you on the grind stuff. This was talking about maybe like a week or two weeks ago. So you're trying to tell me you play an RPG, okay? 
or whatever. And you just let that AI just let it play by itself. What's the point of playing that game? What is the point of playing that game? You could go look up on, look up on YouTube to, to watch that, that game play. And I'm just like, it's so ridiculous now. Don't, don't, they don't want you to play games. <laughs> like, like, just mind blowing. Oh, man. What happened? What, what, what? Casuals. Casuals ruined it. Casuals freaking ruined it and stuff. Casuals ruined it. They, they ruined everything and freaking these activists want to change everything and freaking make it all, put a chicken in it, make it lame and gay. <laughs> like, for real. South Park reference for Disney Star Wars and stuff, but I don't, uh, video game crash, <laughs> video game cr crashed. But that's it, man. I want to talk about freaking Game Pass, but that's probably gonna be uh, another video. But game journalists losing brain cells just watching that video irked out of me, man. My girlfriend's working, so I really can't yell like I used to, but. Uh, sucks <laughs> it really sucks man game game gaming is freaking destroyed gaming is gone oh and it's pathetic dude it's pathetic but anyways guys that's about it rants over just what what <laughs> like what happened dude what what happened to freaking gaming what happened to the to the being 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 skillful it is what it is. Anyways, guys, I still have my room, gaming room to fix up. I got everything else is pretty much up and tidy, up and working. And um, freaking black ants, dude. Black ants are everywhere. <laughs> I'm in a freaking, freaking war with them. <laughs> like, seriously, especially yesterday, that freaking war. War's on. <laughs> but war, war never changes. But anyways, guys, y'all stay awesome. Um, hopefully, I should get my room cleaned up or organized like tomorrow or the next day. So I should be doing my unboxings there. But anyways, bye, guys. Hope you have a wonderful Monday. I got stuff to do. Stay awesome. Stay healthy. And watch out for those. Game journalists. Just want to choke you guys sometimes. Because y'all mofos are a bunch of frauds. And casuals. Bye guys. Have a good one.